Reports were coming out that after the Monday night loss from to the uh, the Seattle Seahawks, there was laughter being heard coming from the showers, which I kind of thinking is a little bit creepy that the reporters are creeping closer to the showers. I mean, shouldn't there be some level of privacy there? Has not um, been going on for a while though. Yeah, but you shouldn't like. I mean, still that's creepy. Come on, they're taking showers. Let the guys shower. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm saying like the showers are in the locker rooms, aren't they? So. And they keep going into the locker rooms to get interviews. Remember, there was a few years ago the big deal about like having a female journalist in the sh- in the not in the showers. <laughs> in the, she was in, in the, the showers in the, <laughs> in no, the locker big, room. So I, the big I think thing about that was, it. was was that they would just wait until people get out of the locker rooms altogether. So if if it was me, I would say like, hey, why why are you walking around my locker room? Like, let me let me wash off. Let me get dressed. Uh, why don't you wait over there at the press conference area? That's where I talk to a journalist. But, mm-hmm. but what? And I, I don't believe they let men into women's sports lockers af- locker rooms afterwards. No, so I do not they... think so. Yeah, you know, you got to look, look at it too as well. It's just like the players need time. I think they should have their time to really let the game settle and let them relax. You know, because you know, they're coming off a loss. If they're coming off a loss, you, they don't want to be bothered while in the locker room. They want to be able to sit there and just, you know, Consult with their teammates and just you know get their get their uh, you know their mind together and then you know figure out what to say because you never know you come out and you ask a question to them right after they lose and then they may say something that they're not supposed to say and then you blow completely out of proportion. Yeah, no, I am emotions, yeah, but I think especially what, in football. I think that's what a lot of journalists are going for, though. To be honest, yeah, like that that's why they do it at that point. Well, and they want to just get the story as soon as possible because everyone wants the story immediately, but. Yeah, but I think nowadays, there's something true. you should should give the guys a few minutes, you know. There's got to be there should be a, a rule though that that the NFL needs to make that yeah. they cannot go really in until anything. the players go out and then they can address them. Yeah, I mean, give them at least 15 minutes. So yeah, but that that's actually not the story, but we made it into a topic. But yeah, so Jay Gruden, um, he was asked by reporters who had eavesdropped on the, the, the creepy reporters eavesdropping on the players in the showers, saying that they had heard laughter, and they thought, oh, well, uh, what do you think about that? And so Jay Gruden goes, oh, uh, nobody better be satisfied. I'm going to launch an inquiry into this now. Ha, ha, nobody better be laughing after losses. And I just think this is kind of blowing everything out of portion number one. Maybe they're watching a really funny YouTube video because they have those S4s that are, are waterproof. You never know. There's lots of funny YouTube videos out there. Maybe they were watching Words to My Face and I told a joke and they liked it. Maybe they should be watching YouTube videos. Maybe they should be thinking about how they lost. And how they Maybe they just better. want to distract themselves. I just, I just think it's, I think it's being blown a little bit out of proportion. Um, and and now I'm not hating on Jay Gruden. I think he was kind of baited into this. But an inquiry on laughing in the showers after a loss? I don't know, Lucas. What do you think? I find that really weird. <laughs> yeah. I just find that. I just, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you see, you heard laughing in the showers, and you know. I don't see – first off, if a player is laughing in the shower, I don't see that much of a big deal first off. You know, when you're coming off a loss, yeah, you want to have that, oh, we lost. There's no fun in games. But people deal with things certain different ways. And if you're losing, you know, you want to be able to leave with a positive mindset, you know. And that's, you know, having a crack on a joke in the shower with somebody. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. I mean, I, I, again, yes, take the loss seriously, but don't don't – fret on it too much because yeah. the more you dwell on it, the more it hurts you. You know, it's exactly. good to be able to put it behind you. That is what all NFL players should do. Have short memories. Um, so yeah, it's kind of silly. But hit us up with like let it. us know what you think. Maybe maybe you know the joke that was told in the showers. Let us know in comments down below. I'd be very interested to see that. Um,